From buying a random couple a $9,000 engagement ring, to turning down a role for films such as the Superman reboot in 2003, we take a look at 20 things you didn't know about Paul Walker. Number 20. He was considered to play Johnny Storm in 2005's Fantastic Four. A noteworthy part that Walker was intensely considered for was as Johnny Storm in 2005's Fantastic Four motion picture. The part inevitably went to Chris Evans, obviously. Yet, it's anything but difficult to perceive how Walker could have slotted into that role. Number 19. He was once on an 80s game show. I'm Telling was a brief American amusement show which publicized in the late 1980s. Basically a kid version of the newlywed game, which rather had brothers and sisters answering questions about one another. And a 13-year-old Paul Walker showed up on the show with his more youthful sister, Ashley, in a September 1987 scene. Number 18. He bought a $9,000 engagement ring for someone he didn't even know. Kyle and Kristen couldn't manage the cost of the ring they wanted, so they left the store empty-handed. Just to be wronged by an employee and told that a mysterious man had put the expense of the ring on his tab. To the tune of $9,000. Number 17. He founded his own disaster relief organization. Alongside his huge number of other endeavors, Walker was likewise helpful on a fundamental level. Establishing the disaster relief organization Reach Out Worldwide, eminently taking off to the 2010 Chile and Haiti earthquakes to give help with doctors and provide aid. Number 16. He practiced martial arts. On top of this, Walker had been partaking in jiu-jitsu training since 2004 under top mentor Ricardo Miller, with whom he turned out to become quick friends. Enough that Walker sometimes utilized Miller as a specialist on his action movies. Despite the fact that Paul achieved a brown belt in his lifetime, he was focused on inevitably getting to a black belt. Number 15. He began his career at the age of two. Each on-screen actor needs to begin their career someplace, and Walker was no special case. In spite of the fact that he broke into the business by being featured on TV shows such as Highway to Heaven and Throb as a young man in the mid to late 1980s, his first on-screen appearance was at the age of two as an infant in a Pampers advertisement in 1975. Number 14. He auditioned for Anakin Skywalker but was considered too old. Trusted or not, Walker auditioned for the part of a grown-up Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones which obviously inevitably went to the overwhelmingly wooden Hayden Christensen. Number 13. He had a passion for marine biology. It's obvious that Walker's most loved superhero is Aquaman, in light of the fact that he is an awesome admirer of the sea, majoring in marine biology in college, being an eager surfer, being featured in 2005 seafaring adventure Into the Blue, generally on the grounds that it permitted him a lot of time in the water. Number 12. He only watched his own movies once. Like a ton of performing artists, Paul Walker had blended emotions about watching his own motion pictures, as he didn't care for viewing himself on screen. He had a tendency to just watch each of his motion pictures once, likely at a world debut and never again after that. Number 11. He wasn't afraid of anything. To quote Paul Walker himself, he asserted, I'm not afraid of anything. That's just the way I am. Nothing terrified this man. He understood life was about taking risks because that's where the greatest rewards are achieved. Number 10. He kept his life private. Unlike numerous Hollywood performing artists and performers, Paul Walker's name was never standing out as truly newsworthy for anything strange. He was all business when he was expected to be, and a family man off the screen. Number 9. His girlfriend was 17 years younger than he was. Maybe insightfully, Paul had a tendency to keep his romances out of the spotlight, and he definitely didn't make a habit for dating an armada of Hollywood actresses. At the time of his death, his partner was sweetheart of seven years, Jasmine Pilchard Gosnell, who was indeed 17 years younger than the on-screen actor, and only 16 years old when they got together in 2006. Number 8. He turned down an offer to play Superman in 2003. At the point when Brett Ratner was contracted to reboot the Superman film franchise in 2002, he at once stage offered the part to Paul Walker, among different actors. He turned it down in the wake of having a talk with Richard Donner, who coordinated the initial two Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Number 7. He did not let fame define him. Not all VIPs can stay reasonable when their popularity is pushed onto them. Paul Walker's co-stars and the business individuals who worked with him have all came forward to vouch for how astonishing of a gentleman he was. Number 6. He had a go big or go home mentality. I live by go big or go home. That's with everything. 
It's like either commit and go for it or don't do it at all. I apply that to everything. I apply that to relationships. I apply that to sports. And I apply that to everything. That's what I live by. Number five. First film, Monster in the Closet. Walker made his debut on the big screen at age 13, playing Professor Bennett in the 1986 horror comedy Monster in the Closet, which also starred Fergie from Black Eyed Peas fame. Number four. He was career driven. Walker adored each part of being part of the Fast and the Furious saga, and has even gone so far as to say, I wish I could be in the driver's seat for each stunt. He didn't originate from money, but instead worked as hard as possible to earn himself a name. Number three, he was a full-time dad. Meadow Rain Walker, his only child, was conceived on the 4th of November, 1999. While many individuals realized that he had a little girl, very few of them realized he had recently chosen to tackle the part of being a full-time father. Number 2. A Professional Car Racer Paul Walker was known for his part as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and the Furious saga. While he drove quick cars all through the series, some may not realize that he really drove quick cars in ordinary life also. He was an expert race car driver and worked with AE Performance. Number 1. Vin Diesel named his new daughter Pauline in Paul's honor. Vin Diesel's wife, Paloma Jimenez, conceived their third kid, and the on-screen character reported that they had chosen to name her Pauline out of appreciation for Walker. Vin Diesel said, It felt like, you know, a way to keep his memory a part of my family and a part of my world. 